This usually be the food of the fire. Fire! 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 And welcome back to the coldest week of the season thus far. It is bitter. And what we are about to witness first here is the, what I would like to call the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. For whatever reason, uh, came into this workout and just didn't have it. You know, these uh, pause squats were tough. They really shouldn't have been that tough. Um, not sure what the scoop was, uh, whether I didn't sleep well or what. But what have you, you know, um, the key is that you just come in and do the best you can. So here, here we have some bench pressing, going for three reps. And as you can see, that totally does not happen. <laughs> if Arnold was here, he'd be like, Why are you such a good man? But again, that's why we have uh, safety pins, so we can, you know, not have to do the roll of shame, which would uh, really hurt with 205. I don't think I've ever had to do it with that much weight. But set number two, I managed to grind out number three. And believe it or not, that actually ties uh, my PR for three reps. I've never actually done uh, more weight for three reps. You see, I was happy. But man, I just totally blew it these last two sets. But you know, we got two reps each. Um, and like I said, it's uh, better to get in and get some work done than no work and not let these kind of days uh, you know, get you down. So like I said, it is very, very cold. Keep your eyes out through the video uh, for uh, times you can see my breath when I'm exhaling. <laughs> it is bitter. Hey, on that note, did any of you guys see uh, the Boston Mayor on TV recently? I happened to catch it, and boy did it piss me off. Because he was just like, it's so cold here, and there's so much snow, we wish spring was here. I was like, shut up! Did you get more snow in Buffalo? I didn't think so. And hey, speaking of snow, look at that. Nice. You see what my hat says? It says New York. That's where good people come from, not massive crap in Massachusetts. And yes, those are eggs on the left side of the screen. So anyway, what I decided to do after such a bad day on Saturday was just come in and destroy the squats. Three, three reps each set, 290 on the bar, and that is a PR four times over. That's the way to do it. And, act and actually, with uh, the snowstorm that came in the night before, uh, it was very windy. I definitely did not sleep well, so I was a little concerned coming in. But I was like, well, we're just going to go at it, and what do you know? Knocked it out. If you didn't see the uh, raw video that I posted of set number four of this, uh, my previous PR was 285 for three reps. And I know for a fact I only did that for one set uh, when that was done. So that's really good. Um, next week, not next week, sorry, in two weeks, I'm actually scheduled for another four sets of three, but this time with 297 and a half. So that will be another PR that I have to do four times over. I like this program. It has you has you know PRs just scheduled like in the middle of it, and um, you know makes you do it for multiple sets instead of just one. So as you can tell, I was pretty riled up after hitting big PR weights, you know, and uh, that Boston thing I was going on about. <laughs> but you know how it is. You know, I talked last week about what causes all that, and when I went to get my post workout weigh-in, you know, this happened. <laughs> Megaron. So bringing all that Megaron into Tuesday. A uh, quick note on the Megaron uh, tends to not really help lighter lifters uh, because instead of actually increasing strength, it actually tends to put on size, which tends to knock lighter lifters into the next higher weight class or so. I'm referring to this Tuesday as Bench Press Redemption Day. Things didn't go so well on Saturday, so I put on my red shirt because it's not really Valentine's Day anymore, and it's covering up the armpit holes, because, like I say, we keep it classy around here. And we hit 205 for 3 on the wide grip, uh, no pause. Um, for those of you who don't uh, mess around with your bench grip, um, the wide grip is generally a bit slower off the chest, uh, but the lockout is 
uh, much easier, whereas the narrower grip tends to be a lot more powerful off the chest, but once the uh, lockout is in uh, motion, that, that's where it gets hard because it's like all tricep. And we finished up with uh, sumo deads. Uh, it's 310 on the bar, four sets of three. Sometimes things like that happen. This is a one-man operation, you know. <laughs> uh, the deads felt really good. Um, actually, went outside after this to shovel my driveway because we had the snowstorm and got like an ultra pump in my low back. You know, shoveling after um, right after deadlifting, it was awesome. I could barely move. I was like, "Oh no, gotta take a break, clear out some lactic acid." Uh, so anyway, Tuesday, very good day. And I knew it too, so at the end of this, I had to do my posing. And on to the final day of the week. Well, actually, the final um, like powerlifting day of the week. I'd have uh, a volume maintenance day also on Thursdays, but I don't uh, film that or uh, you know show that stuff on the videos. Uh, main move of the day is the overhead press, uh, working with 132.5. 132 and a half on the bar. And if you recall the uh, the chump video, <laughs> uh, you'll notice that you know um, this is only two and a half pounds lighter and one rep less per set than that maximum I hit of 135 for four. So that's kind of how this program works. Like you know, it pushes you right underneath your max effort, and you do a lot of volume there. Uh, and I think that's how it uh, strives to you know build strength for you. So, uh, all in all, a pretty good week, uh, other than Saturday, but uh, these things happen, and not the end of the world. So, uh, next week is another repeat of week one, so we'll see you then.